Hi, welcome to Science for Skills. In this episode, we're going to investigate the presence of dissolved substances in a sample of water. For this, you're going to need two samples of water. I have some distilled water, which should have no dissolved solids in it, and I have some tap water, which might have quite a few dissolved solids in it. You need a hot plate with two beakers boiling with boiling water in them. You need two clock glasses on top. That's where we're going to evaporate our water and be left with our dissolved substances. And as always, guys, you need your goggles on because you need your eyes to see the results. Now, I'm just going to pour a sample of each water onto each clock glass. So there's my dis distilled water there and my tap water is going there. Okay, so we'll leave these to boil. It might take about 10 or 15 minutes for all the water to evaporate, but we'll come back and we'll have a check on them in a while and we'll see how the results look. Okay, so these have been boiling there for the last 10 minutes and all the water has evaporated from each one. So we're going to take a look at the results. Let's turn that off. Now, the first one was the distilled water. Now I'm just going to use this blue towel because it, it might be quite hot. And I'll dry off the bottom. Now you can see there, the distilled water had no dissolved substances in it. So you can see clearly there's nothing left on that clock glass. Now if you compare that to our tap water sample, the tap water sample has left all these rings of dissolved substances on the clock glass. This shows that tap water has dissolved substances in it, whereas distilled water doesn't. There's just a shot now of both. So you can see this is the distilled water, this was the tap water. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next episode.